Hey guys. Hello, Janet from another planet. How are you? Are we going? Are we going? All right, Instagram is up, Facebook's up, YouTube is going. Hi, is everybody doing? I said, hi, is everybody doing? Just pretend I said that correctly. Now, if you remember, I said we are actually going to be putting a whitewash onto this piece. Um, so, as you can see, this large wardrobe is on its side. Hello! Hi, Michelle. Hi, Barbara. And I'm going to hope that the paint wants to come out of this. I've got some winner's names to draw, and Matt's here. Hello! Oh my goodness, it's coming out, but it's kind of tricky. So I added White Swan to my water bottle. And now I'm going to use my brayer before it sets up. So I'm going to move pretty quickly here. And I'm going to say, stop and say hello to you guys in just a minute. This is part three of this large furniture makeover. And you're right, I have it rolled over on its side. Oh my gosh, it's drying so quickly. Matthew? Yeah. Oh, I have my water. Never mind. Huh? How's everybody doing on Sunday? It's a gorgeous day in Oklahoma. And I was telling you all, were we just on yesterday? Yeah, we were on last we night. We were on last night. Okay, I was telling you guys, we we're going to flip this over on its side and put a whitewash on top of it. How's everybody? Hello, hello. So right now it's going to look a little bit odd, but we are totally softening the intensity of the yellow and the orange and the blue iris and the blue. We are softening it. Um, when we come back on the next day, whether that be tomorrow, we are going to have it right back up and we're going to go in heavy with our beach scene. Um, hi guys, how are you? So I might need to, I don't really want to add any water yet. But this is um, White Swan, and it's got Golden Ticket in it. So I put about um, 10 ounces of water with about a tablespoon of paint. So let's just say 1 to 10 ratio, and then I put in some Golden Ticket. So it has like this iridescent. You can see down here on the end as well. Instagram, you can't see because you're uh, vertical. You can only see here in the middle. But if you go on YouTube or Facebook, you can. So the very end, I wanted to make sure it was going to actually look the way it was hoping because this is something I haven't done before by putting a whitewash, whitewash over something. Um, Matthew, how you doing? Are you logged on? You good? Yeah, good to go. Okay, babe. So Matt made ham and baked potatoes and brownies, which are going to come up after this. Brownies. Yes, Robert, I made the brownies. Yes, got me brownies tonight. Put up two new light fixtures on the front porch. So I told him we had a date on the front porch with our brownies to see how the lights look. Super excited. We've lived here now for eight months or seven months and we wanted new light fixtures. So Matthew did all of that today. What did everybody else do? What creative things are you guys finding to do today? Anybody has any questions? Matt is here to help read and ask. I don't have my glasses on, so if I mess up, I apologize. Uh-oh, no glasses? Mm, Joey Fletcher's birthday today. I know. Today. I was just telling her happy birthday on her post. Happy birthday, Joey. Okay, um, Michelle says, Mitch made me steak, salad, and asparagus, and no baked goodies for snack. Oh no! Come on, Mitch. You gotta step up your game, bud. Gotta make sure. You gotta make sure you have the sweets. Well, oh gosh, I think this is gonna be really good. I haven't done this before, and I know that most of you are still kind of in the whole like, what? But guys, we're still adding color. We're still adding the layers. But here's what I did to get the make sure the brownies got cooked. I set the box out next to the stove this morning. So when he, when he started making them, I was like, oh brownies! He goes, well, you had them sitting. Out. I can take a hint. <laughs> I was like, well, it was a reminder for me to do, which it kind of was. I was going to make them while he was cooking dinner, but... Sure. Yes, I promise. All right, Janice. This is a brayer. Janice, she uh, quilted all day. Kathy Cooper, uh, she took a walk with you and then her husband. Uh, Alicia Baker, she painted. Um, 
So yeah, it did. Awesome, you good. guys. It was a beautiful day in Oklahoma. There was no wind. Uh, it started out kind of chilly, but my goodness, it ended up being really nice. If you do not like the way your white goes on or your wash, whatever color you want to use, you guys have seen me use Golden Ticket a lot. But this is actually our white swan from DIY, and then it has Golden Ticket in it. Now, um, just remember, especially on the bottom, we're going to be adding in a beach scene, beach grass, some seagrass type things. This is where I needed the blues and the yellows to kind of peek through this whitewash so it's wet we're weathering it it, it is a process it's, i treat everything like it's an art piece we um spent a lot of my weekend in front of the computer because my creative connection has is open for just a few more hours so if anybody was interested or thought they were going to jump in the group you gotta hurry guys because i'm going to be closing the doors and um if you need that link michelle will you mind posting it for me here sister Got quite a few people that are painting. Uh, Jasmine painted today. Um, Mia McLean. Uh, she painted with a punny knife. Cherry pick, golden ticket, and plump crazy. Get a girl. Um, this is so cool. I think what I'll end up doing is taking my sanding sponge too, or even maybe just a wet rag and even wet distressing some of it. So it's got a lot, a lot of color and texture going on. And we haven't even got to the whole scene that we're gonna paint on with the beach. Um, so we've got, if you remember, this is part three. So we have yellow and orange underneath, which we're gonna pull all of that back. So you're gonna see little glimpses of that um, throughout the whole piece. And then we added in blue iris and sea glass yesterday and today we're doing the whitewash so it's a little bit crazy right now but if you get to where you don't really like something i adore this matt do you see how this looks yes i see it and what do you think i think it's fabulous okay all right uh molly parker has a question i'm redoing a kitchen table what do you recommend to seal it wax or something else either i mean if you're not familiar with wax, I think it's a great sealant, but I would, if it's the top of a dining room table, I would probably put more than one coat and I would reapply the wax once a year or so. But wax is totally sufficient, at least DIY is, especially if you put like two or three layers on it. Um, I know we have several of our retailers that love to put three layers on the top, buff in between. But if you are using DIY products, you can also use Big Top. Um, but I think, I mean, the waxes are definitely sufficient depending on what kind of look you like. So I'm just rolling this with a brayer, you guys, pretty quickly before it dries, but I'm not adding extra water. I want a really fun washed. Look. Did you ever get any more blue iris, Dion? Oh, guys, what you didn't know and what I didn't know is I found the blue iris that I thought I had. Remember the night before on Friday Night Live, I was doing a rug in blue iris? Well, the stool that I'm sitting on has a little shelf underneath it. And so while I was painting on the rug, I had my blue iris jars, two of them, sitting on the little shelf. And last night during our live, I rolled that stool underneath the table and I couldn't see it because the drop cloth's covering it. So today I was sitting here doing something and I kicked my foot on this and I went, what's that? And I pulled out two jars of blue iris. One was empty, but one was full. And so I have more blue iris, <laughs> just enough to finish this piece. So how much go how much golden ticket did you put in the spray bottle? I put about, um, it's got like a really sheen iridescent look. I probably put about, um, gosh, I don't know, one to 10. Like there's 10 ounces of water in here. And I put one, um, one part white swan and one part golden ticket. So it's still going to be really hodgepodgey looking right now. I promise it's going to be good. All right, ah! Teaspoon. Teaspoon's a little serious. She's serious right now. She says, Dion, I've created my own Lucky Charms, but I'm kind of embarrassed Why? as it's just not coming together the way I hoped. I've wasted so much paint just trying to get it right. Ugh, learning. Oh, honey, listen. I've had many, many years of of painting before I tried doing something like that. So you have to give yourself a little bit of grace and start 
easier, you know, but it is just paint, but it is frustrating when you waste paint and you feel like you have to go back over it. Girl, I have been there, I promise. This uh, is so much fun. Tons of fun. Mary I, Beth Hughes, howdy from Texas. Howdy from Texas. How do you decide what colors to lay down first? The colors you choose are always, are always end up awesome, yet so very opposite in color. Um, I kind of go with colors that are complementary. So blue and yellow are opposites. You know, I mean, they, they just always look really good together. You know, it's a, it's a color combination that's been around for years and years. So um, in my mind, I'm thinking sky and a really pretty light background because I want to paint a beach kind of with seagrass on here. And so using orange or yellow as my backdrop as I pull color kind of one of those things I always love, love, love to do. And so the shades of blue are supposed to kind of represent the sky. But playing around with colors is just kind of something I've always done, even as a young girl. I did even it Even with your outfits. I did it with my outfits when I was younger. I styled my clothes, but I- I mean, also, you still do it today. I, of course I do. I still, <laughs> I, styled my makeup like putting makeup colors together to see what looked good together growing up because so i've always just loved playing with different colors matthew this is so good i'm so happy uh we have several you're questions you're so sarcastic tonight no no no, no. i'm just i want to make so sure happy. i get to these questions and you're just you know you're making it really hard on me wow. all right lisa thompson dixon question i am painting a step stool for my kitchen will wax be okay for sealer or do i need to use big top Okay, hang on. You're going to have to read that again. Okay. I'm sorry. Lisa Thompson Dixon. Yes. Question. I am painting a step stool for my kitchen. Will wax be okay for sealer? Or yeah. do I need big top? Oh, wax is fine. Just put a couple of coats on and buff in between. Lisa, you can definitely use the wax. Jasmine Smith has a question. I know you usually only put water in the water barrel. Is it okay to put paint as long as you do a similar ratio that you mentioned, the 1 to 10? I actually, this is a water girl, honey. I actually went for it. It's my old one, and so that's why I, I um, put the white paint in here. I actually had Kissing Booth in this with our last makeover. So I don't want to recommend it only because I would hate for you to ruin your water girl if you put too much paint in there, but this was my old one. And I, I haven't found a bottle that I like as well. Um, I would recommend, if you're going to put paint in it, though, that you use something that's kind of older, that may be a cleaning or, I don't know. Like a cleaning bottle? Yeah, None but the, the yeah. problem with that is it comes out. It's a little different. It comes out different. And so this really is the best thing, but I, then I'm well, gonna, I, mean, I don't want it to sound, it. I don't want it to sound like I'm telling you to buy a bunch of them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think maybe using a cheap bottle up front to kind of get the get the maybe at first. Yeah, at first. Yeah. Um, so what what is in the water bottle again, honey? For, we got some people just 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 uh, jumping on here. Well, see, like it's not working now. I may have put too much paint in this, you guys. Sandy McKenzie, if it's not a hot mess in the beginning, you're not doing it right. That is exactly right. <laughs> and now it's not working. Hang on. Um, I have 10 ounces, actually close to more like 11 probably, of water. I have one part of the... Um, white swan and one part golden ticket. So I put the golden ticket in with the white, so it's got like this very chic uh, sheen, this very really light sparkle. So tomorrow or whenever we come back on, we'll have it upright and I will wet distress a little bit. I want some of this yellow and this orange to really come through and then we'll start working on getting the uh, background. It's a process. It's a process. Oh. I think I put too much paint in the bottle though. It doesn't want to come out. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to sit on the floor actually. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see me. Instagram, I feel like you probably can't because 
Do you want me to move it down a little bit? They, well, Instagram has to go vertical, and so they never get to see the whole ah, piece. Ah, Insta, so sorry. Yeah, you can't watch it side. It would be sideways if I turned my phone. And so they never get to see the whole piece. I love the way it's almost pulling it back off in some areas. Oh wait, we gotta give away free paint, Matt. And well, you, you, got, you gotta you gotta get you gotta tell the woman, right? Yeah, I, I've got the list right here and the paint. That's who I've gotta that's what I've gotta do. Ooh, I like those colors too. Ooh, guys, I can see the paint she's giving away, and you can. Oh my. You can. <laughs> Okay, so I picked two winners. Um, the other night on our Wednesday video, we had 71 shares or 79, something like that. And the video reached like, I don't know, 9,000 people watched it. So I just wanted to choose two people that shared the video on Wednesday night. Of course, the same thing applies for tonight. I'll be here Wednesday giving out more paint. And I use DIY, so that's what I'll be giving. The more I work with it, the more I love it. I just need to stop. Oh, that you is stop so good. It's hammer time. It's hammer time? Yeah. It's about brownie time. Stop. Hammer time. Okay, no, 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 so no. I have mermaid tail. All right. All right, so I have mermaid tail and marquee red. There's Instagram. Sorry, I'm not sure you could see me very well, but oh, wait, you could see me. Um, so these two, two people out of how many shares? Um, Lynn, we had um, 70. 71 shares. Some of those are, I mean, if you're doing the ratio, I guess that makes me look like I'm not giving out very much paint. But when I give out eight jars every single week, it seems like that's a lot. There were $13. Um, I'm sure that's not what you were trying to say, but um, yeah, I had 71 shares. And um, the winner of this is Melissa McClure. Woohoo! Melissa McClure, go ahead and send me your address, and I will Matt will ship these off to you. And then the other winner, Renee Flotting. Did I write that down wrong? Flading. F L A D U N G. Renee. Here we go, girl. Beadboard and some Queen Bee. Mm. I want to send that mm. out to you guys. So Love send me, me hello, everybody on the Insta waving. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the thumbs send up. Send a DM. Don't send it on this thread. Yeah, don't put your address here. Okay, so just as a little recap, we were working on whitewashing today. So I can't really do anything else um, until this is completely dry, but I will be kind of wet sanding and pulling some of the top layers off so the colors come underneath. So Renee Flaydung and Melissa McClure, you won paint. Thank you for the shares on Facebook. I appreciate you so much. Um, we're pretty much online only right now. The store where I sell paint is closed up momentarily. Uh, Lynn, what, also, what paint was in the bottle? White Swan and Golden Ticket. Thank you, Kathy Cooper, for answering Lynn and writing it out for me. I appreciate you so much. Um, the creative connection that I coach in and teach in is about to close up in a few short hours. <clears throat> oh, just for my info. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that so much. Um, we're about to close. And so um, we're closing doors. We only open for about eight days out of the entire year, 365 days. Um, it's a coaching membership group on Facebook. There is a charge for it. I get asked that a lot. Um, there is, it is, there is a charge. There's two and a half years worth of tutorials and tips, kind of a library for, um, for people to go through and go through at your own leisure, yeah. uh, staging, Facebook Lives, all kinds of different things. Um, we are, we're about to hit the brownies. Uh, Paulette Rangel, hi there, how are you? Um, Want to make sure, did you join the group? I think she did. Uh, Amanda joined. Michelle, oh. I, I want to say this right, Michelle La, La Pina. La Pina. La Pina, she says, okay. hello Dion, I joined today, so excited. Thanks, Sandy. But how do I get started? Thank you. You just go onto Facebook and get in the group. Chris Butler says it's worth the money. Um, thank you, Chris. Um, if you can, you access it on Facebook just by typing in the Turquoise Cyrus Creative Connection. And if you haven't been accepted, then you need to send your request. She if, said she joined already today. Oh, so you're already on. Well, I mean, it's, that means. So if you've joined, that already means you've paid, 
and set up your registration. There's Karen Denning. How did, does she need to do anything as far as password or anything to get into the group? No, nope, it's once you're in, once you send your request, we accept it and then you're a part of the group. Um, thank you so much, Deborah. I can't wait to stand it up, do a little wet, dress to, wet distressing and really dive into the beach scene. Um, no, so you just have to send your request on Facebook after you've paid and registered. A lot of you are on here that have registered. Tomorrow we will do another heart talk in the morning where we walk. Um, and then we will. I'm gonna come in the afternoon and we'll go over some housekeeping, how to do things, where to find stuff, um, and go from there. You guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, this was part three. We're gonna try to be back tomorrow. What's we should tomorrow? be back tomorrow, yeah, Monday. We'll tomorrow. we just won't be on Tuesday, but we will be here tomorrow. It's not like we're going anywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you on tomorrow painting? I will, Kathy Cooper. I will be on tomorrow here, um, but in the group for the Creative Connection, I will be just in the group walking for a heart talk tomorrow. Melissa Jacobson, I see all of your hearts. Thank you, sister. Um, and then we will we will be talking tomorrow about different doing different things. So as usual, I wanna send you away with tons of inspiration, you guys. Find something that's unique to yourself. I've never seen anybody do this, so that's why I'm doing it. Does that make sense? Like, I've never seen anybody roll on paint with a big wide brush twice with two different colors and then throw the piece on its side and whitewash it. Like, I've never seen anybody do that, and so that's what I'm constantly trying to do is come up with new ideas for myself because that gives me different perspective on things, but also to encourage you all to find your own way, find your own look, and try new things because that's how we figure out what art really is. It's truly from within, and I wanted to do something that looks like this is a paint finish that may have been here for years and years and years. Does that make sense? So sending you away with lots of encouragement. Hope that you have a good Monday. And um, anything else, Woods? We've got a date on the porch, new light fixtures to go view, hopefully. Uh, the light looks wonderful, and the brownies. Brownies. I hope they're still warm. No. Don't probably have to heat them up. Ah, that's okay. That's all right. You guys, thanks so much. We appreciate you. Again, Renee Flodden and Melissa McClure message me so I can ship you the paint. You guys, please continue to pass on these videos and share. Um, everything is so unusual right now. And for us small businesses, especially when it's all about that paint, if you know what I'm saying. It's all about that paint. About that paint. About that paint. Yes, it's all about the paint. When you, um, mm -hmm. oh, thank you, Kathleen. That's such a nice thing to say. Um, when you share little things like this, it's small on your part, ends up being really huge for the rest of us. When you see the ladies and gentlemen doing these kind of things online and putting themselves out there, trying new things, painting a wardrobe on its side because she hopes it's a good idea, right? Uh, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Instagram. I appreciate you guys. Have a great night. I will see you back tomorrow. Same place, same time, same two people. Probably a different hat, though. See ya. Good night, everyone.